Hey guys, hope you are all doing well. Um, today I'm going to show you a um, an idea that I had for recording sound. Obviously it's very expensive to record in a proper studio so I thought I'll uh, make a small one myself. I mean not a small studio obviously. I do have a, um, a spare cupboard that um, I could use but it's it's too big to, uh, to fill with foam. So I had the idea to actually just use a regular uh, cardboard box um, and stick some um, some foam in it uh, which should be enough actually to um, to block any sound uh, bouncing around uh, I'm not really um, thinking of blocking all the sound coming in because obviously for that you need some soundproof material which is really expensive and a bit difficult to, to build although this actually does block some of the sound out um, obviously it doesn't completely eliminate it um, yeah, so for this, obviously, all you need is um, a few tiles. I got these from Amazon. They're not very expensive. Um, they do have different shaped ones, by the way. So these are the uh, egg crete tiles. They also have the pyramid shaped and another type that I can't remember the name of. But the uh, from what I read and researched, the egg crete ones are the ones you want to get for uh, maximum absorp absorption, uh, which is what I wanted to do. Um, these, to be honest, um, are, uh, were lying around the house, um, so I just used them. Uh, they're not even, as you can see. Uh, I mean, I wasn't looking for something pretty, but um, just something that I could use. For the gear that I used here, um, I have the uh, one of the microphones that most uh, professional um, audio recorders use, and that is not an expensive microphone. Let me try and get um, a good shot of this. So it's the Rode NT1A. You can see it now. Yeah, there you go. The Rode NT1A. Um, I will obviously put the links um, below. Um, uh, and actually, this unit is very portable because I can just move it around. Right. So yeah, going back to the gear <coughs> microphone. Like I said, the Rode microphone. It's uh, I paid 110 pounds for it. Uh, it was on discount on Amazon. Maybe it's slightly more expensive. Uh, it comes with all of this, the shock mount and um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the pop, uh, the pop shield, the pop filter. Um, yeah, and then we have uh, the Zoom H5, which is one of my favorite um, audio interfaces. The Zoom H5 um, is very versatile. Um, has I think five channels, so one, two, three, and four, four channels. Yeah. And can record up to four channels basically um, and uh, obviously you can monitor your audio and everything that's why I have these headphones here and uh, yeah I mean it's a very simple setup I think it makes a big difference to the sound because um, once you go in the booth I mean actually let, let's try it with the camera without this so now we are outside the booth um, sorry and now the minute we go in I think you might feel that there is um, uh, less echo when we go into the uh, the, the booth itself. Uh, it does eliminate a lot of echo, so I'm, I'm really happy with that. Um, the other thing is, I'm planning to add more, because like, as you can see here, I mean, the bottom hasn't been, I didn't have enough tile to do the bottom. Um, I had, uh, yeah. I probably need more tile um, to cover it up and eventually maybe even the door well this can close as you can see there's I, I left that open so by the way when you get this box from the the your local le retailer or um, the shop you get it from uh, try and ask for a box that hasn't been broken um, so basically the box would be just cut from the bottom as you can see here and the rest of the box would be just um, um, open so what you do is that you open it from this side you know the side where these clamps are you open it from this side you leave it open like this and then when you want to close it I'll just move this over. right sorry that the light is standing here right so once you want if you want to close it which I don't think you do need if you have a quiet enough room you don't need to close it if you do need to close it you can do so Look. with more tile this side because if you do close it and this is not covered with uh, foam 
it's still gonna have it's still gonna have some bounce some sound bouncing off that uh cardboard so what you want to do is to cover the whole thing and then um close it behind you when you go in um for that obviously you might need some lights uh i'm thinking to get a light through here a small light and then uh, be able maybe to switch it on and off from outside um yeah i mean apart from that it's it's a great quick and cheap solution to uh, recording uh, good quality sound uh i think it cost me about uh, the tires cost me about 30 pounds for 24 24 tiles uh like i said this was laying around the house so maybe if you get double the amount which is about 64 uh no 50 sorry if you get 50 tiles i think it's going to cost you about 50 pounds all you need is 100 pounds uh or 150 pounds uh road microphone um this uh the zoom h5 as well obviously you need it um yeah that's it um i'm really happy with this i will record a couple of um audio clips for you guys to see the difference inside the box and outside the box in the same room uh and uh, yeah i think it makes a good difference so um you guys should go ahead and build it um see for yourselves it doesn't cost a lot of money the box was free obviously i got it from the retail from the shop who was uh, throwing it away um yeah uh, try that yourselves and uh, tell me what you think all right okay bye hello hello so uh this is a sample of a recording inside the booth um i think there is less echo here um if i uh, was to take this outside now and record it will make there'll be a lot more noise as you can see there's a lot of background noise and there's a bit of echo in the room so um being inside did make a difference indeed.